Well, hello there. New line design here with another lighting setup tutorial. Uh, here we have uh, this modern uh, bungalow house. We're going to focus on the front uh, exterior of uh, the house. And as usual, we'll start by uh, creating our base render. So we have something to compare it to uh, later on when we apply our lights and effects. I've already prepared the effects uh, beforehand because it is quite uh, tricky to work with lights in here and it takes a couple of test renders to get the desired result. I'm gonna uh, take you through all of them at the end. So first let's go to a build mode and start uh, applying our lights into the scene. So I'm going to turn on this uh, first layer of light. What we have here is a row of uh, spotlights the light I, uh, I chose with a narrow beam. Uh, I brought the temperature of the light uh, towards basically a white daylight color of, uh, of these spotlights so they are nicely uh, visible on this white uh, front wall. Here is the brightness that I already uh, pre-tested or test rendered before so I know the value is somewhere around here. So they're all uh, the same basically you set up one and a paste a copy the rest of them on these lights. Let's uh, turn on another layer of uh, lights. Let me just uh, double check which one they are. When you go to a photo mode and you press uh, F8 key, you can actually preview your lights uh, along with the shadows. As you can see in here, this is without shadows. When I press F8 key on your keyboard, uh, you can preview the lights uh, as they will be rendered with the shadows as well. So uh, this is the row of, uh, of these uh, walkway uh, lights. Once again, there are spotlights, as you can see in here. I chose a little uh, wider uh, cone or angle. And uh, as well, the temperature once again it's basically a, a daylight uh, uh, color. The same thing, they all have the same uh, value. The brightness is a little uh, brighter because they are bouncing from, uh, from the ground in here. So uh, in order to be visible, I brought the brightness up a little bit. So when we go uh, back to, to the photo mode and I press the F8 once again, you can see these lights uh, in here along with the spotlights that I uh, showed you before. Let's go back to uh, another layer of lights we're going to be using uh, today. Let's double check which ones they are. Once again we go to uh, photo mode or quick preview. I press F8 and as you can see I uh, turned on uh, this uh, spotlight in, uh, in front of the, the main door and another light there is one light uh, under this tree to, uh, to light it up, make it nicely uh, visible. So let's go back to uh, build mode. Once again, in here we are using a spotlight. When I click on it, you can see I'm using a narrow uh, beam light in here, and the same uh, color temperature as uh, before. And the way I set it up, uh, just basically uh, click on the light. And this little icon says target lights, you just click on that. And then you choose wherever you want to point your uh, your spotlight. I want it to point straight up the tree. You just confirm. Oops. You just confirm, and your light is pointing exactly the way you want it. So let's preview one more time. Pressing F8. You can see the shadows from the tree uh, reflecting on, uh, on the roof of the house and the spotlight in here in front of the main door. So going back to uh, build mode, I'm going to turn on another level or layer of light and let's just double check which ones they are. Once again, switch into photo mode, pressing F8 now 
these are not visible or they are not changing when I press F8. The reason being is these lights are called line lights and in Lumion these kind of lights do not cast shadows. So uh, we're talking about these lights, they're basically uh, lighting up the, the rim, the bottom rim of the house. They are in here, and there is uh, three in here as you can see. So when I click on them, you can see in here it's a line light. Uh, you can angle it uh, basically the same way you angle a spotlight. But the, uh, the difference is this light will not cast shadows, so you have to be very careful and you have to uh, work with the brightness along with the fall off so uh, the light is not spilling into your other materials so here is the brightness uh, I chose or test rendered today and you adjust the width and the length of, of the line light in here so it fits uh, perfectly in your uh, scene so when we go back to our photo mode once again when I press F8 these spotlights are uh, changing you can see the shadows they are casting but there is no change in these uh, line lights so let's move on to our uh, last uh, layer and it's this one when I go back to uh, photo mode it is this light it is basically uh, mimicking the light coming uh, from inside uh, the house and it's uh, streaking or streaming uh, outside uh, onto the onto the front uh, patio or yard outside the house. So let's uh, have a look at the light setup. Now to mimic the light coming out of the house, it's a basically I uh, chose a spotlight as you can see in here with a very uh, wide uh, cone. Uh, I chose a warm temperature because the light usually from inside the house uh, when it's reflected from uh, the bright surfaces in here changes color into a, a little bit uh, warmer so I uh, made the light a little bit uh, yellow uh, I chose the brightness around here, cone angle and basically the light is uh, projected through the window on the outside uh, area of the house and is mimicking the light coming from inside the house out. So when we go back to photo mode, I press F8. Now clearly you can see the big change in here. Now it is all lit. When I uh, press F8, here are the, the shadows coming from the curtains and the, the windows and also the edge of the house. So that is our last uh, light. Now I'm gonna go uh, very quickly through the through the effects in here that I prepared uh, before. Now I'm using this lens flare. Uh, here are the adjustments, especially for this purpose. So I'm trying to make these uh, these lights uh, to appear brighter, or they kind of uh, create a halo uh, or a lens flare in here, so it looks a little more realistic. So I adjusted the, the master brightness. I brought it up and also I isolated the bright pixels so when I bring it down you can see it kind of disappears when I bring it up it creates that uh, that lens flare effect or, or a halo that you see in the lights during the night or evening so this was uh, quite an important effect real skies basically I chose um, one of the evening uh, uh, real skies in Lumion 9 uh, not a major adjustment in here, just a little bit of uh, overall brightness down and the brightness of the sky up. Now the sun is automatic. Uh, I disabled the sun because I'm just using the light from, uh, from the sky directly. Sharpening, just a little bit of uh, sharpening of the picture. That's very easy. Uh, exposure, bringing up uh, the exposure. So we get uh, a little bit of uh, detail in here as well, a little bit of uh, a light on the front uh, portion of the scene. Uh, next stop, uh, color correction. Uh, obviously the temperature is a little a little colder from uh, from the evening evening shot. So I brought it uh, up a little bit. The tint stays usually the same and I brought up the brightness. Obviously the contrast goes down because there is not much contrast uh, from the from the light but we brought the brightness so we have uh, a little bit of light in the scene as well. 
reflections. Actually, the, it's not that necessary unless you have something um, that is reflecting in front of your windows. Uh, and I do not have anything, even though I turned it on. But the difference is almost none or very subtle in the final result. Hyperlight, I don't have to adjust. It's mostly for the interiors. Skylight, um, this is a quite an important since I'm only using the uh, the real sky as my, as my light source. I needed to bring the brightness down quite a lot, as you can see. Saturation as well, because the colors are not too bright uh, in the evening shot. So the brightness goes down and the saturation as well. Shadows, uh, obviously coloring is going to towards the colder uh, portion of the spectrum. The brightness goes uh, down almost all the way and we are working with the exterior, so I moved it towards the exterior. Omni shadow, uh, it's somewhere around first third of the effect. Uh, turning on the soft shadows and fine detail shadows on as well. Moving on to chromatic aberrations. This is just a little bit of dispersion. I brought it down because I don't like too much uh, of it from the preset. And depth of field. I want the, the foreground to be blurred because obviously there is nothing going on in the scene. And I uh, use the autofocus function in here. I set it up on the first wall in here. That's where I want my picture to be uh, perfectly sharp. So I set it up uh, over there, uh, turn it on. And from then on, I want uh, the front portion of the house to be sharp as well. So I move the slider foreground background towards the foreground. That means the foreground will be uh, very blurred or out of focus. And anything from, uh, from my point, my focusing point, basically towards the uh, end of the house will be, will be sharp. The amount of uh, blur uh, is somewhere in here. So we have this uh, portion nice and blurred. And that is pretty much it from the effect. So this is the uh, lighting setup for this kind of uh, scene. And I'm going to uh, render the final result. So thanks for watching guys. Stay well and stay creative.